new video uh, today we're having a look at the Kai MBK Mini Mark 2 so I'm just going to start off with a quick unboxing I've already had a quick look at it um, so it comes with a bit of foam to just protect it so we're just going to lift this out it comes with a USB uh, B cable so we're going to I'm just going to take them off in the exam. Uh, so yeah, this is the actual keyboard, uh, it's got plenty of keys, it's a lot softer than I thought it would be, uh, but it still feels nice to press, it's got loads of buttons, drum pads, I, I was expecting it to be a little bit like the launch pad so you kind of have to apply a little bit of force to kind of like activate it, uh, but it, you just have to kind of just like tap it, so that's that's good, you can use this for pitch and stuff, you can program it for several things. I'm not an expert on it, so we're, I'm just going to plug this in and get it set up, so I'll be back with you guys right now. Yeah, so uh, we're just going to set it up and get everything ready with it. Let's do it. Set up here. Uh, this is just a quick thing I put together. Uh, I managed to program these. I'll probably do a separate video on this on my other channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, so I'm, I'll just put this together. Um, I'll quickly show you the drums. So I could do a quick beat like this. So a quick beat like that. Yeah, so it's press pressure sensitive pads. So if I just press it lightly, then if I press it uh, a lot more firm, you can't hear too much of a difference there, but um, it's there. Uh... Oh, right. you can hear it there though. So you can see this box down here. I programmed that for these for these eight knobs here. So if I twist this one, if you look at here, you see reverb change. But that's just it. So I'm gonna hold down pad eight. Uh, so let's go. Do this one. This is filter two. Yeah, so that's that. Setting it up's fairly simple. You've just got to, you've just got to assign your um, device. Um, so the serial number is on is underneath it, and then you can also get the serial number on this booklet here. I'm just keeping this underneath the actual keyboard. Um, but anyway, it's fairly simple, and that'll do it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, I've just I've just forgot something. Um, one sec. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <coughs>